Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Travardhan and today I am going to show you one problem on straight lines in this lecture. The problem is like this. A line AB 80 mm long is inclined to HP at 30 degree and inclined to VP at 45 degree. Draw the front and top views of a line when the end A is on both HP and VP and determine their lines. Also measure the perpendicular distance of B from both HP and VP. Now, according to the given question, first we must collect the data. Now the data collection will be like this. The true length is given as 80 mm that is A dash B1 dash and AB2 is 80 mm and the locus of A dash is on HP and the locus of A is on VP. And if this problem is going to be seen a similar kind of problem is already shown in one of my previous video lectures now let me show you the solution for this question for which go to a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 let us draw an xy line and then after drawing an xy line let us not draw the two pro two locuses of a dash and a because the xy line itself is going to act as a locus because the end a is on both hp and vp next using the text command let us start that point let me call this as a dash and at the bottom let me call this as a and on the left hand side with the caps lock on i'll mark it as x and i'll mark it as y and since this is in the first quadrant we have to represent the first quadrant as xy vp hp now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.35 millimeter next locate a point of a dash anywhere on this line which is nearer to the letters what we already shown then the length of a line is 80 millimeter and its true inclination is 30 degree now one can see this the line 30 degree has been drawn at a length of 80 millimeter using an angle between command now the angle is shown as 30 degree and using the smart dimension command show that the length of this line is 80 millimeter then in the same fashion with the same things uh, let us draw the distance of ab2 the ab2 the length is 80 millimeter and the angle is 45 degree in the system we should give the angle as minus 45 degree now one can see that the angle between these two lines are supposed to be 45 degree and then the length of this line must be 80 millimeter now after drawing these things next what we are supposed to do this is going to be the b1 dash and that is go, the bottom is going to be the b1 let me mark this point as b1 dash and this is nothing but b2 next at b1 dash and b2 let us draw the locuses using the line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 just move the cursor on the locus of b dash sorry on the look on the proportion of b1 dash then draw a locus like this then in the same fashion just move the cursor towards the same point and to get the same lens now you can see it has been tracing next in the another point is getting traced now the locus of these two lengths must be equal but there is no rule that these locuses length must be equal we can draw any lens and after drawing the locuses now we know that this b2 has to be obtained to get the b2 dash that is still the locus of a dash then this will become b2 dash and b1 dash also supposed to be projected to get the position of b1 now one can observe there is an interruption to the midpoint if i am going to draw the line for the midpoint this angle will not be equal to 90 degree hence the log the angle as 90 degree so that you will not get the midpoint symbol point on element will be there let me locate it on the point on element then this point is nothing but b2 dash let me mark this point as b2 dash sorry it's uh, uh, yeah, b2 dash and then at this point will be marked as b1 in the top view then we know that using a arc by center point command we know that a dash to b2 dash is the front view length the front view length will be pro projected 
till the locus of b dash to get the position of b dash now using a uh, text command let me mark this point as b dash in the same fashion using the arc by center point command select a as the center then b1 as the radius that is nothing but the top u length the top u length must be drawn till the location of locus of b dash so the locus of b then make use of a line command then with thickness of 0.5 mm join a dash join this a dash to b dash the end point of an arc in the same fashion a to locus of sorry on uh, a to the end point of an arc that is nothing but b next using the text command b dash is already marked let me mark the position of b then whether the solution is correct or wrong we have to identify how to identify it join b dash to b if it is connecting properly and it is a vertical line without having any inclination then this solution is correct now now by this i can say that the problem has been completed in all aspects but we need to measure some parameters what are the parameters to be measured they are asking to determine the their lens what is means their lens the front view and top views that is using the smart dimension measure the distance between a dash to b dash and then a b like this then determine their lens the front view length and top view length has been measured and also measure the perpendicular distance of a and b from both hp and vp how to measure that go to a smart dimension command the distance of b dash with hp is this height next in the same fashion the distance of b2 to this line is nothing but this distance that is vp next these two dimensions must be measured and it has to be shown now using the text command now let me form a text box anywhere on the screen wherever it is possible now we know that the top u length is nothing but 69.28 mm and then front view length is measuring as 56.57 mm and also the distance of b distance distance of end b end b from hp is equal to 40 mm and in the same fashion distance of end b from vp is 56.57 mm and then a last statement which is not the least note what is a note all dimensions are in mm by this one can state that the problem is completed in all aspects if you find any difficulties to solve the problem you can call me to this number at any point of time but make sure that let it not be at the late nights thank you guys hope so you enjoy the video